Ooh, I've got the big plates ready today, guys. In fact, I, I didn't know we actually owned a plate this big. It's huge. Look, fork for scale. Be a good one to take to buffets, wouldn't it? Anyway, ah, uh, you like oxen, right? You like tongues? You like 50-year-old tins full of ox tongues? Because who wouldn't? Net weight, 1.36 kilograms, or three pounds. Chill before opening. No mention of Netflix. So yeah, 100% cured of whatever disease they had. Interglen brand present ox tongues with jelly. So if you're wondering what an ox tongue is, it's literally the, the tongue of an ox. You know, an ox is like a, you know, castrated cow that they use for work and stuff, isn't it? And they cut the tongue off and cured it and stuck it in this tin. Thank you. 48 Jamaica Street, Liverpool. I wonder what's at Interglen House these days. Answer, probably not a load of ox tongues. So yeah, this was sent to me by an internet human who said, uh, hey, my grandparents bought a big tin of ox tongues in 1968. Would you like to open them on the brown sofa? And the answer was, of course, no, but I'm going to do it anyway, because that's kind of how this channel works. So yeah, ox tongues being a bit of a... Uh, shall we say delicacy <laughs> which is one of those things you say when something's quite unpleasant and nobody eats it anymore when I mean, you can still get sliced up bits of deli counters and that it's a very uh, high value treat if you're training a dog there's a little bit of information for you but anyway there's not a whole lot to look at here it is a giant giant tin containing 100 percent cured ox tongues because you know who wouldn't want 50 year old ox tongues in a tin? Well, I'm hoping they're mainly going to be all right. Cured meats, generally okay over long periods. Tins, usually all right, but as we have learned, tins don't keep forever. Well, I have chilled it before opening. I mean, I put it in a fridge. I didn't just hang out with some mates. Let's start to open this thing and regret all the life choices that led us to this point. Well, it's been pierced. There's some sort of froth coming out of it. I don't know if uh, you, you can see that. A milky, f milk, milky, creamy froth is coming out. Wasn't expecting that. Wasn't expecting that at all. Oh, great. This is just getting better by the minute. There's no smell of anything yet. I'm sure there will be a smell shortly, and it will be magically delicious. Uh, well, I look forward to burning this uh, tin opener later. Right. Oh, I think we've gone all the way around. Oh, the bloody top hasn't come off. Ugh. What is the milk, mother? <laughs> it is not something we recognise. I'll put that carefully so it doesn't drip on the sofa. Right. <laughs> I do not want... Ooh! Ho -ho. Ooh! Word of the day, friends. Fibrous. Fibrous. Can you, can you see that? I, I don't tip it up. Ah, there we are. Yeah, tremendous. Lovely. Superb. Right, let's let's get ourselves an ox tongue. I didn't know it had been canned in basically milk or something. Yeah, ooh, ooh. So, the thing about oxes is they apparently have quite large tongues. Um, to be honest, I did know that, but it's when you're presented with it in such a... Uh, do you know what? I think I'm just going to have to tip it out, actually. Yeah, it's it's... Oh, th there's the tip of the tongue. <laughs> I was trying to remember what it was, and it was on the tip of my tongue. Um, wow, this is this is some Gene Simmons level tongueage here. Um, here we are. You get over there. I'm sure there's nothing weird or wrong about it. So, <clears throat> yeah, there's the bit that goes back into the mouth, and there is indeed the tongue of some poor oxen. Well, lovely. Hang on, is ox singular and oxen plural? I don't know. What I do know is some of the horrible milky stuff is getting dangerously close to the sofa, so I'm going to rotate that and try and use gravity against us. So, would you like me to describe the smell? It's basically a very potent smell of cured meat. This is not particularly unpleasant smell. Um, I wouldn't say it's magically delicious. I would not be buying the cologne of it. Well, let's hack a bit of the tongue off then. Ooh, look at that. It's a very corned beef kind of look to it, isn't there? Uh, here we are. You know what? This could be one of those Pokemon with the big tongues. What are they called? Licker tongue. That's. <laughs> I thought they were called licker tongue. It took me a few seconds to process. Like, yeah, it really is called that, isn't it? There's one in that Detective Pikachu movie. That's not relevant to this video, but I'm basically trying to put off eating a piece of this tongue. Look at the taste buds. You can actually see them. 
This area of the tongue does sweet. This area of the tongue does sour. We were taught that at school. Complete lies. Totally, totally incorrect on all levels. Um, there's basically taste buds that taste everything all over the tongue, which is why that experiment never worked. So then, let's take a lick. Um, I'm going to have a bit right... Ooh, the tip of it's got a funny colour, so I'm going to have a bit from here. It's very easy to cut. That's not something I thought I'd ever learn in my life. Well, it's many years old. Let's... Let's get a good picture of it first, because that delays it slightly. There we are. Well, I'll see you on the other side. Mm, oh. Oh, it's very highly flavoured. Oh. Yeah. So there's a sort of a very meaty, gamey tang to it. Hmm. Uh, oh. Oh, it tastes. It does taste like the bits of cheap meat that you get and stuff, or the very least you used to get and stuff years ago. You didn't really want them. Um, oh, 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 oh! No, I'm going to go try that. Oh. Uh, yeah. Apologies for the spit. So that started off all right, and by all right, I mean it tastes of what it is, ox tongue, which is not amazing, but. I mean, I can understand people liking it, if you're into that kind of thing. I personally am not. But then, there was what I can only describe as an horrifying aftertaste of something not quite right. Do you know what it is? I think the centre of it is where the outside tastes a bit, yeah, slightly gone off, sort of rotty smell. Uh, ugh. Not smell, taste. Sorry, my brain's shutting down. Oh, dearie me. Oh, yeah. I, I, I imagine it would be all right to eat, but I, I'm not going to risk it, to be honest with you. It's not worth swallowing it. I've already experienced the taste, and I feel that's what we're here for. Mmm. I don't know why I'm doing this, just for increasing horror. Well, there's your thumbnail. So there we are. I can now go and feed all the neighbourhood dogs. Probably not, actually, because I think, yeah, it's very slightly gone off. It's survived quite well, considering 60 years, I suppose. But there we are, it's cured meat, isn't it? It's in a tin. I suppose it's all right. Oh, God, I've just dropped a bit on the sofa. Ugh, ugh. Well, we've learnt something to together today, guys. If you are ugh, in some sort of post-apocalyptic scenario and there's only tins of ox tongues from the uh, late 60s, you're probably going to be all right eating it but that's a probably um you'll probably die anyway because you know you can't get access to any clean water or anything that's one of those post-apocalyptic problems they never mention in films but there we are but uh yeah i was expecting multiple is there actually multiple tongues in here no i think it is just one going all the way back into the beastie's mouth Ugh. right well uh, uh, i'm off to lick the road in order to take the taste away Subscribe for more.